To receive SKUs into inventory, go to Club Inventory, Processing, and then Receive SKUs into Inventory. First, choose your club, then choose your inventory area, then choose the supplier that this receipt is coming from. Choose the date of the receipt, which if it's today, you can just hit enter, and then key in a reference number. The reference number can be anything of your choosing. We typically recommend that you use the number at the top of the invoice. Hit enter, and you'll be prompted if you'd like to print labels. Hit yes if you would like to print labels for this new stock, or no if labels are not necessary. Then you have to choose your SKU. So from the list of SKUs you have in your system, or you have the option to create a new SKU to your system, double click on the one you're receiving, then choose the stock location, then key in the quantity that you're receiving. Hit enter, and if you have chosen to print labels, you can choose how many labels you'd like to print here. Hit enter again, and it will ask you for the unit cost. So this would be the cost per item. If you don't have the cost per item handy, but you do have the cost per grouping, or in this case, per case of 12, backspace or delete the unit cost, then hit enter, and you'll see a box appear for total cost. So maybe for 12 of these, the total cost was $240. Hit enter, and you'll see the item drop into the list below with the unit cost calculated based on what the total cost was divided by the quantity received. You can now add in more SKUs to this order. Choose the SKU, then key in the quantity received, hit enter for the labels, and then enter in the unit cost. At the end of your order, the total cost for this supplier should match what's on your invoice as well as the total quantity received. Hit preview to get a report of what's being received as well as any GL postings, if there are GL postings being made from the receipt program. And if that preview looks good, you'll get a pop-up here saying, do you wish to run the actual update? Hit yes to run the update and receive the SKUs. Hit no to cancel and exit out. Or hit edit to go back to this screen to enter in more SKUs or edit the SKUs that you've already received. If you hit edit, you can double click on one of the SKUs in the bottom list and you can choose whether or not you wish to remove or edit this SKU and if you choose to edit it will bring it back up top where you can edit the quantity received as well as the unit cost and the labels to print. When you're ready hit update and then you can print out this report to hand to your accounts payable team to enter in the invoice.